are in the white trunks, the sparkling white trunks, and Danny Vargas in the black trunks with the white trim. Baltazar world ranked, and they're looking at him as, well, he's a top top 10 contender for sure. Danny Vargas is a good stern test for uh, Mr. Baltazar. Tony Baltazar out of La Puente, California, now fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona. His opponent, Danny Vargas from Harlingen, Texas. Southpaw Danny Vargas in the black trunks. Strong, strong boxer. Good, good stiff jab and nice, nice body shot there by Vargas. Baltazar answers back. Tony Baltazar is battle tested. There you go. Proven to be a top contender and uh, looked at as a potential world champion. The pride of La Puente, California, Tony Baltazar in the white trunks. Round one, you're watching the Eight Count Boxing Hour on Community Cable Channel 27 here in Albuquerque. The judges for this one, Walter Brown, Louis Burke, and Stan Gallup. And your referee is Elias Nefi Quintana. Vargas firing with that southpaw jab. Baltazar, you can see, good hands high defense, well balanced, just a well schooled boxer all around. One of the fighting Baltazar brothers. And certainly a fan favorite. I know the folks here in Albuquerque were very excited when this fight was announced. Here at the Kiva Auditorium, we've got a nice crowd. Some good local fighters on the undercard to support Baltazar. You see again, Vargas now slipping that left hand. Baltazar goes to work. He erupts with a, a body attack. You guys are just settling in here. This is round one, scheduled for 10, welterweight division. There you go. Relax, Tony. Let him go, don't, don't wait. Just a few seconds as this first round winds down. Good feeling out round for both fighters. And that ends round one. Round two underway. You're watching the Eight Count Boxing Hour, Community Cable Channel 27 in Albuquerque. Dan Cisneros at ringside. So glad to be here tonight, bringing you the action of Duke City from the Kiva Auditorium downtown. Tony the Tiger Baltazar in the white trunks. Kind of a feeling out round there. Danny Vargas showing his skills. He's got good fast hands and throws some good straight shots. It's going to be a, a test for Baltazar. There you see him again with that southpaw jab. And Baltazar now jumps in trying to catch Vargas. Just missing. Again, you can see Vargas trying to work at long range with that jab. He's got a little bit of a height and reach advantage in this one. There you see him follow it with a body shot. Baltazar's patient. Baltazar has uh, faith in his power, and he knows that he can give away a round or two and come back strong. Baltazar has been in with the best. He just fought Buddy, Buddy, uh, James Buddy McGirt. He lost a, a tough one in that, that fight. Defeated Miguel Angel Dominguez. He holds a win over Roger Mayweather, the Black Mamba. 
And he also fought Robin Blake and lost a toughie there too. So he's been in with the best. Baltazar is the world ranked contender with a good solid record in this one. So far, pretty much a technical boxing match here. These guys are not selling out. They know that they've got 10 rounds to go. Good professionals here. Here you see Baltazar trying to slip in that right hand. Again, Baltazar with that lead right hand to the body. And Vargas tries to flick out that quick jab. Danny Vargas, he's been in tough also. Yeah, this guy's fought Meldrick Taylor, Alvin Hayes, Terrence Ali. He's been in there with Pat Jefferson. And now he's in with Tony the Tiger Baltazar, who rips that left hand to the body. And you can see Baltazar now starting to get a little bit closer here. He's able to get that power in there and shake Vargas up. He'll change this fight in a hurry. Danny Vargas has to watch himself with Baltazar. Needs to stay busy with that jab and keep both up. Now he's putting his head as he pushes forward. And he comes in firing with the left hand. And Baltazar answers with the left. Tony Baltazar, he's, he's good. He's got a good balance of, of uh, boxing skills, speed, and power. Again, Tony Baltazar, a fan favorite, and that ends around. Again, you see Vargas flicking that southpaw jam. Oh, and he comes in and scores with a quick left hand. Caught Baltazar with that one. Baltazar took it well. Tony Baltazar, an experienced professional. He's not going to panic. And you can see that he's patient. He's moving in. He's patient. Just looking for that big shot that could change everything. You're in the middle. What did I say? There you go. There you go. This is round three. Scheduled for ten. Tony Baltazar now, you can see him trying to get a little bit closer, just kind of working. You can feel it, that he's kind of working his way, getting that range where he can land with consistency against Vargas. Danny Vargas, a good, good opponent, good, solid opponent. I mean, the guy can box. You can see him. He's able to switch back and forth. Now he's fighting out of the right-handed stance. Beautiful. Twice. You can see they want Baltazar to get that jab going, work his way in. That will lead to the power. Baltazar, originally from La Puente, California, now fights out of Arizona. Kind of an adopted son there. They really like him. Oh, and there's a nice left hand. That catches Baltazar really should woke him up a little bit. I think that kind of surprised him. And Vargas kind of holding now, holding with that right hand. Referee Nephi Quintana gets in and breaks the two. And there's a jab from Vargas. And Danny Vargas doing some good work here in this third round. He's got Baltazar back against the ropes. I don't know if he's hurt or trying to lure him in here. Crowd enjoying the action. They're behind Baltazar, but they are giving Vargas credit for the good work he's doing. See the two exchange jabs and Vargas with a little more reach able to get that jab in there against Baltazar who comes in now and throws a heavy left hand and there you see Vargas really smart tying Baltazar up as he felt his back on the ropes again Baltazar trying to work in work behind that jab as uh, Vargas
got Tony Baltazar now trying to work his way in. That was a good round for Danny Vargas, that third round. Baltazar needs to get busy, and now you can see Baltazar throwing those good straight shots. Neither fighter has really been hurt in this one. Vargas with a few surprising shots might kind of, kind of stung Baltazar, but he didn't hurt him in any way. Tony Baltazar with a good solid chin. Again, you see Baltazar now trying to get in there with that right hand and follow it up with a combination. Vargas just working with that straight left. Oh, and Baltazar caught Vargas as he leaned in. Left his head in there a little too long, and Baltazar made a pay, but now Vargas answers back. Vargas, ha Vargas has Baltazar back on the ropes. Again, Vargas trying to stay outside and work behind that southpaw jab. He switched back to the right hand stance for a little while there. Had some good, good uh, success with that. But right now he's back to the southpaw. Tony Baltazar in here with a real crafty boxer. Danny Vargas has really, really impressed us here at ringside. The guy, the guy next to me shaking his head. I think the fans kind of expected Baltazar to get in here and steamroll this guy, but no such thing. Vargas really putting up a good showing here against world-class uh, Tony the Tiger Baltazar. So glad you could join us here on the 8-Count Boxing Hour. Oh, and both guys exchange shots, left hands. So glad you could tune in tonight here on Channel 27, Community Cable Channel, Public Access Television, the 8-Count Boxing Hour. Thanks to all the people out there that have sent such nice letters and uh, for the greetings at the, when I see you all at the fights. Thank you so much for joining us and for the support of this show. And uh, Danny Vargas continuing to work hard. Baltazar just trying to stay in that range, keep the pressure on. There you see him come in with both hands firing now. And now he catches it with the left hand, catching Danny Vargas. And that ends. Fifth round of a heck of a fight here. Tony Baltazar having his hands full, surprisingly, with uh, Danny Vargas from Harlingen, Texas. I'm not surprised, but the, the folks around here are looking a little... Folks around me here are a little surprised. They really expected Baltazar to get in here and just get this guy out of here. But Danny Vargas, talented boxer, really making Tony Baltazar work here. There's a right hand snuck in by Danny Vargas. Comes back to the body, ripping left hands to the body. Baltazar answers and now he rocks Vargas. And Danny Vargas is down and that one just out of nowhere. Tony Baltazar exploded on him. Uh, the referee, I don't know, are they calling this a low blower?
a knockout. Straight knockout for Tony Baltazar. As he stops. 50 seconds of the mid-round. 